Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can use subtotals on your spreadsheet. I also want to show you how you can use the counter function as well to get the similar sort of data. So what we have here is some data. And to use subtotals, before you can actually use subtotals, you need to sort the column that you are in. So this column needs to be sorted. So I'm just going to select A to Z there. And now it's sorted A to Z. Subtotals is on the data tab. And then you can go down to find subtotals, which is there. It's amongst all the other data features. Subtotals comes up with this box. And basically, it's giving you option to select the column, so it always starts with the first column, that you want to do subtotals on. So mine is going to be course attended, so if I select course attended, and then you've got the option here to tick where you want the subtotals to appear, to appear there, course attended, and because it's text, you can't have sum, I need count, sums obviously for figures. So that's what I want, course attended, have the answer underneath course attended, and count how many items there are. So if I click OK to that, it then does exactly that where it says on the tin. Now in the left hand side you've got one which will show you collapsed subtotals and then two shows you just the subtotals themselves and then three shows everything else. Now you can also click on these little minuses to collapse these individual sections down like so. The whole thing drops it right down. Two shows you the subtotals, three shows you everything. Now if you're in a rush, obviously doing a subtotal is quicker than doing a filter and then trying to um, write down what the filter was, the count, then taking the filter off, doing the next one and so on and so on. That's great but it's time consuming. Now the countif function, which I mentioned earlier, is in my view a bit more flexible in that you can always get the answer that you need and have it displayed at the top of the screen. So I want to show you that one because what you'd have to do if you, had, if you needed to add extra records here, you'd have to clear subtotals. So you'd have to go back into subtotals and remove, get them, add the new records, Resort the list, click on subtotals again, and carry on. Whereas with countif function, when you add extra records, it will just pick them up if you set it up correctly. So I want these three categories, Leadership, Equal Ops, and Microsoft Office, to be my little headings over here. So I'm just going to copy them, paste them into I1, that's Equal Ops, Leadership, copy that, paste it into J1 and then Microsoft Office copy that and paste it into K1 and then just widen those so you can see them now I have named column F I've clicked on the F to highlight the whole column I have named column F courses so I can refer to courses and it will pick up anything in this list. So the count if function, if I go equals count if, open the bracket, it's asking me for the range. What's the range? The range is courses, so I can type courses, comma, what's the criteria that you want to look at? The criteria is equal ops, and then close the bracket, click the tick. Comes up with 27, which is the right answer. If I get the little black cross, I can just pull that over 23 and 7. Now, the benefit of doing this, I'll just block that off a little bit, make it pretty. Is if I add extra records at the bottom, this will, this will automatically pick it up. So just make a note of that number, 27, 23 and 7. So if I just grab a chunk of these at the bottom... So I'm not picking any equal ops up, but if I just copy that, and let's assume that I'm now adding extra records. The 
because this is a named range going all the way down to the bottom of the spreadsheet if I go back up to the top you can see that it's picked that up there's been no need to take the subtotals off as I would have had to do and resort this list this is automatically going to do that for you you can put a little chart on there that'll do don't want that bit and then you just um, position the chart where you want it to be underneath there make it a lot smaller than that and then you get a little visual like so So that's basically how you can use subtotals or or use count if it's totally up to you you might want to use subtotals so just to recap on subtotals you have to sort the column you want to do it on so i'll sort the grade column a to z then you go to the data tab and subtotals and this time it's not course attended we're doing it on it's grade so you select grade take the tick off course attended tick grade and count because it's text okay and then it applies the subtotals if you click on two it drops it down like so and then to remove subtotals you just go back into data subtotals remove so in itself it is a a great tool let's just go back into that so didn't, everything disappeared so I want to remove that and I should see everything you should get them all back now what happened there on mine was because I had this collapse I'll just show you what happened subtotals were on so okay because I clicked on two when I went remove data subtotals remove it just did that so basically you need to have it all showing before you can remove so if I go back to undo and then click on three, so the whole thing's there, but the subtotals are still on. I can then go data subtotals remove, which is not great. And it's back. But this this is okay. This is um, picking up all the changes and telling you what's what. So I, I prefer this method using the countif function and the named range. And yeah, that's all I want to talk about in this little session. So hopefully that was of use to you. Thank you for your time. I'll see you in the next one.